The Westgate Tunnel Project is widening the Westgate Freeway from 8 to 12 lanes between the M80 and the Westgate Bridge. That will mean less congestion and create faster travel times to get drivers where they need to go. The Westgate Freeway is a critical link in Melbourne's transport network and one of the busiest roads in Australia, carrying 200,000 vehicles each day. As Melbourne's outer suburbs continue to grow, it's putting increased pressure on the existing road network. Kevin Redfern lives in Melbourne's outer west and shares his insights. I live in Seabrook, um, that's about 15 kilometres out of Melbourne. Uh, my use of the, uh, the freeway is to go into the city for meetings and also to see relatives in the eastern suburbs. Driving in along the west gate into the city, uh, it's hectic some days. There are choke points uh, once you get across the bridge um, where traffic is coming into the city uh, off the ring road. The western suburbs is one of the fastest growing areas uh, where I live um, in the Hobsons Bay area. In terms of people coming into work along the freeway, about 70% of the residents down there drive to work. So for them it's important that we get a much better road network. Dennis Ryan lives in Melbourne's inner west and he tells us what it's like to get around the area currently. I live in Altona North. If I'm going to be heading eastward into the city, then I've got the, uh, all the traffic coming out of the western suburbs. Prior to the Westgate Tunnel, the freeway carried a lot of traffic out to the west. Gradually, we had all the transport factories, all the industrial going on. To ease congestion and enable faster and safer travel, a massive program of works has been undertaken to rebuild the freeway from the ground up, increase the number of lanes, and install smart technology to help with better traffic flow. Tim is a senior traffic engineer on the project and explains some of the traffic flow improvements. The changes to the Westgate freeway are that it will be expanding from four lanes to six lanes. Of the six lanes, three lanes will be express from the M80 interchange to the Westgate bridge. The other three lanes will be entry and exit points to the arterial road network and the Westgate Tunnel. Increasing the traffic capacity on the Westgate Freeway will keep the freeway moving as Melbourne's west continues to grow. Mohammed is an engineer on the project and he explains the construction works taking place. There are significant changes to the freeway. Uh, that's including additional uh, lanes from 8 to 12 lanes, express lanes, uh, drainage upgrades across the freeway, nine kilometres of improved noise walls. There is significant upgrades to the ramps and the interchange to strengthen the structures and also improve the traffic flow. Once the new Westgate Freeway is open, traffic will be managed by a traffic control centre to ensure it's flowing smoothly. Tim explains how it works. The role the traffic control centre plays in managing traffic is to monitor the road network. The control centre will identify incidents and send out response teams and emergency services. The control centre can close lanes, alter speed limits, change information signs and adjust traffic signals to create better traffic flow. One of the things that I'm going to look forward to is that at the present time for me to get into the city, you've got to get off, go through multiple sets of traffic lights. When the freeway opens, I'll be able to go straight through via Wurundjeri Way and be in one set of traffic lights out of the centre of the city. You can't do that anywhere else. You can't do that in any of the major cities in Australia. I'm going to have direct access into the city by one or two sets of traffic lights. You try and do that somewhere else. <laughs>